Okay, hey Brian with Ayers the Outdoors here. This is gonna be the most informal review we've ever done, uh, but being that bow hunting's coming up, we have uh, some people asking us after watching a video saying like, hey, I really wanna start filming. And uh, so one of the things that you really need to make a really good video these days is a third angle camera, especially with a wide angle. The GoPros are really what you need. So uh, we're gonna go into the pros and cons of GoPros. I've been using them for about five years now. I've been filming hunts and editing hunts for over five years. So feel like I can speak to a lot of them. So we're gonna start with the pros, and then I'm gonna go into the cons. And I will, I do have remedies for the cons, um, because I don't just, you know, deal with the cons. I try to find ways that uh, we can make them actually work for, for us hunters in the woods. Um, so let's get started. Okay, my experience with GoPros, like I said, I've been filming for about five years now. We've used the original Hero, where you just click it once and shot in 720 and the audio was terrible. I uh, used the three and that was okay. And then uh, we've used the five for some drone footage. Uh, now we use the eight, which shoots in four, up to 4K and then at different frames per second. Um, so we're gonna be going specifically off of the eight because if they can't, haven't figured it out by the eighth model, then I don't know what to tell you. I think they have up to 10 now. So number one, a pro for this one is, for the GoPros in general, is they have amazing, vivid, crystal clear, beautiful, wide angle footage. I mean, it's just some of the shots that we have, and I'll be playing some in the overlay so you can see what I'm talking about throughout this uh, review, um, is just great. Like you can't, you can't really get much better than the GoPro footage. Um, third angles, especially for your friend the stand, uh, getting the over the head shots, um, it's just beautiful. You can't really, um, you, know, you, you need that shot. I mean, you have the camcorder for the, the main camera, but just getting putting everything into perspective is what this camera can do. Um, and then it, they're great for recoveries as well. Put it on your hat or even the wide angle for your recoveries. It makes you feel like you're actually there. Uh, that's what this is pretty much used for. And like I said, if it works, and we'll talk about that later, um, you know, if it works, it's priceless. So um, a couple of things that I make this a little bit easier with is it's called uh, Same Top right here and um, you can basically put this on there and not only can you just pop it up like this, put on a hat, but it also swings. So if you have like a branch or something, you need to go to the side, okay? Like say, say if there's a side, this is to the side right now. And uh, if you wanted to get it on a twig, put it on a twig like this and guess what? You're in business, yeah. You see what I'm talking about. So these things, same tops, you can buy them on Amazon, they just, switch around any kind of way you want it so you can clip it to any tree um, or twig or whatever you want that you need. And also a tip is, uh, you know those like 99 cent um, bow hangs? You can just screw them on and then just pop them in there and then it's on the bow hanger and it's looking right at you. Instead of you just having nothing to put it on a tree, a 99 cent bow hanger is, is also great. Uh, see the sun came back out, so the lighting's different. Um, so yeah, I mean, like it, if it works, it works and it's fantastic. Um, so now we have to come into the cons and that's where we're gonna spend the, um, the majority of our time because everyone can you know, appreciate the, the footage of this, but does it always work? The reliability on these has been very, very subpar. Uh, specifically, uh, we're gonna talk about the battery. Uh, the batteries on these, here, let me get one over here, cost about 25 bucks, come in this right here. And they can last like, you know, maybe an hour, hour and a half uh, fully charged, which sounds great, right? But uh, no, um, these will not work if it is 50 degrees or under. Uh, they might work for like a minute or two, especially the colder it gets, the worse it gets, and then it just shuts off. Even if it's at 99%, it's dead. You plug it back into the charger, it says zero, and then pops right back up to 99. So that, like I said, that's within like less than 50 degrees. It happens very, very often. So that's very frustrating. Uh, we've lost a lot of good footage trying to work out that way. Um, the best way is to try to keep it on and then you know keep it warm a little bit. But a tip that I have is um, I found one of these um, huge discounts. Uh, it's a like a anchor, but it's not. It's like some. It's called Griffin, but it's really cheap. So I don't really care if, if anything happens to it. Uh, you zip tie it to the bottom of the same top like this, okay? And then you get a USB C, and then you pop it in uh, with the door here which we'll talk about the door later. Pop it in the door and then keep it on the entire time and it'll stay on your entire hunt. And you don't have to worry about turning it on and it'll stay warm the entire time. So when it's running, it constantly has juice 
and for whatever reason the batteries fail in cold weather this will prevent it from happening and you have unlimited battery life pretty much for your entire hunt so i um, definitely recommend getting an external and throwing it on here it is very heavy i understand that but it will work in the cold so that's a, a workaround of, of why um, you know how you can get around the the, the crappy batteries for these things um, you know, and work off of that. When it's warm out, like right now, um, you don't really have to worry about it that much. Um, just like I said, you have to keep swapping out the batteries. So however you want to roll with that, whether you want to buy a bunch of batteries or simply get one of these and deal with the heaviness, that's up to you. Uh, now let's talk about the door. So the doors, uh, I don't know if they fix these on the newer models, but at least this model, um, you pop this open like this and take out a battery. However, um, I'm not even gonna mess with it right now because it hasn't fallen off in a while. These things very easily can just pop off. Uh, we were filming a noodling video uh, in Tennessee for my buddy Jim's bachelor party and uh, had to do a swap real quick because we were about to catch a fish, pop this out, and then, you know, took this out right here and just that, just that motion of it being popped out, it can just pop out that easy. And that's a huge problem because I lost the door at the bottom of the lake and they actually ended up giving me a free one after I complained too much for about, you know, otherwise you'd have to buy a 20, uh, like a $20 door, which is, um, you know, not good. I don't know why they made this um, decision to make the door just be able to pop off so easily, but that's a thing you do have to worry about. And also if you're using the external battery and it's raining, uh, the door has to be open for you to plug it in um, right down there. So that's something else you have to consider. Uh, so that's another con. Um, the other thing we're gonna talk about that's a con is the remote. Okay, this is a Wi-Fi remote, wireless remote. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on here. Pump, uh, turns on with that top button right there. And I just gotta say, I'm not impressed with the remotes. They are not good, not reliable at all. Like I said, it knows that it's trying to connect to my hero now, but it's, listen, you can have this thing on, you can sync it to there, and you can turn it on and have it connected, right? So it's not gonna connect right now, I'll turn it on, and it'll eventually connect. But the problem is, um, it won't stay connected, all right? It's my dad in the back. Um, it will not stay connected uh, reliably at all. Like I can have this connected and it can be sitting out like, you know, even above me behind my head and I'll just look down and it's just doing spinning constantly. Constantly just gets disconnected. So it is very unreliable. It disconnected right now in which it will work, um, but it won't stay connected. And especially like, I'll give you an example. We're goose hunting, right? And I have this, all, you know, with, with the anchor, you know, it's all plugged in so the battery's taken care of. Now I have it like 10 yards in front of us. It's gonna get these geese landing, right? It's coming down. I got some geese coming in, I got this. I, I look down to click the button and it's disconnected. You know why? Because when you close the, uh, the doors, even if it's a thin door on a goose blind, if it doesn't have that direct um, line, it'll just get disconnected. Even if it does have uh, a direct line, even at a bow stand or something like that, it'll still get disconnected. And, uh, and that's very annoying. So um, they need to figure it out because, um, you know, it, it kind of works how it's supposed to sometimes, but the reliability on this just takes a dive because, you know, you miss, you will miss so many shots with it sitting charged right over your head because the remote is terrible. Um, I don't have a workaround for that um, except for try to make it have like a direct shot. Like there's nothing I can do to make their technology better. I can work around the batteries, but I can't work around um, their crappy um, remotes. I, I know that they have a new remote out now, but this is like the second or third shot at their remote. I haven't heard it's much better uh, because it still has the same Wi-Fi technology. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. Um, okay, so we went over the pros, the need for a third angle, the crystal clear, um, you know, footage of it, the use, great use for recoveries. Um, we do use, I use it at night for coyote hunting. Um, the, sh uh, the same top mounts make it very versatile when you're trying to, you know, clip it to anything. All right, we already went over that. Um, and then the cons are not reliable at all for the remotes. The remote is trash. And the um, 
batteries don't last long especially if it's any degree of cold out even if it's brisk like if it's even in turkey season we've had this happen so use this um if you if i missed anything with what you think about uh, gopro especially the gopro 8 um, but this does apply to all of the gopros uh based on my prior five six years of experience if i missed anything please let me know uh, we are going to be doing another one of these on the tacticam and then later on the Tacticam FTS film through scope, but just generally on the Tacticam, we're probably going to record that in this very setting here in a minute. But if I missed anything, please let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. And if you have any questions about how to make the GoPros work for you, uh, please let me know.